Are you uh, claiming lead duties here, or do you want me to walk us through the agenda, or what? Oh, are you feeling up to an agenda walk? I suppose. Oh. Let's see. Our host today, Terry Chadburn. Take it away. I'm <laughs> Molly's commenting in the video, in the documentation. Okay. Um, So let me paste the notes link back into this chat. Oh, Molly, you found us. Good. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start from the end because I have pasted notes and no one else has had time to paste notes yet. So <laughs> or you want to just take a couple of minutes to paste in updates. Let's take two minutes to paste in updates in the docs for anything that you've worked on. They're broken down by these recurring items, so you can pop any updates under the right goals. We'll just play the Jeopardy theme song in the background while you work on that. No one is actually typing. Shall I just share my protocol school updates? Yes, I will do that. Okay. Um, and Diego, hop in if I misconstrue anything. Uh, so on the protocol school front, I'll actually just share. Okay. So on the proto school front, um, this in, this is both plan stuff and some hot fixes as we go. So last week we merged the PR that moves our analytics from Google Analytics to Countly. Um, Countly has more sort of addresses privacy concerns because we keep the data as opposed to Google keeping the data. Um, at the moment, there is like a cross site tracking issue because it's hosted at countly.ipfs.io instead of proto.school. So we're working on working out that kink, but for right now it only affects like people using Safari who didn't uncheck the box, that kind of thing. So we're still getting most of the results. Um, a lot of our traffic looks like it's coming from both the newsletter and doc sites um, and blog. So there's some, some nice information on sources and where people are from and all that jazz. And we can now, part of, the, part of the big goal was to make sure we can track individual pages in the single page application. So we can now see that people are visiting the third lesson in the MFS tutorial, that kind of thing. Um, so that happened, still have updates to do. The other thing that we'll add in there is the event tracking. So we can figure out whatever we want to about people clicked the reset code button or they chose to view the solution or whatever for how difficult things are. Um, Diego is putting some final touches on his refactor of components breaking out into much smaller components, which is going to make it a lot easier when we go to add support for new things like lib P2P lessons. So that's almost done. Uh, as a with, with that as a dependency, we'll be finishing up the multiple choice lesson format. So people will be able to have that as an option, particularly good for stuff that's less technical or doesn't work in JavaScript um, coding exercises. And then the, one of the big things I've been doing, which Alan has helped me push things through, is to, there's an open issue in the ProtoSchool repo about adding links to ProtoSchool. There's a separate one about adding links out, but on the 
the front of adding things in, I've been adding links to various documentation. It's mostly in um, like the API docs or there's examples or like tutorial sections in the GitHub part of our documentation. So those are very easy to make changes to. The two things that I'm attempting to do now, which are harder to do uh, for me in particular, <laughs> based on my, my knowledge of these systems is ipfs.io and js.ipfs.io. We want to sur surface proto school there, but they're built in like Gatsby or Hugo or have trans effects built in and you can't put links in the middle of strings. And I'm running into a variety of things that make it harder than I was imagining it being. So um, those are two things that I intend to do upcoming. So those kind of cross between the proto school bucket and the hotfix bucket. Um, and then Eric and I did sit down and look at uh, Zen Hub because right now most of the issues that we're going to work on in this team are either the IPFS dash docs board or the proto school board, but a huge percentage of the stuff on the proto school board has absolutely nothing to do with these teams efforts. So we have an idea for how to make that work, but we can chat with Jessica when she's back because it's, it will only work well if it, if it works well on her side for a different thing. So this concludes my section. Diogo, what do you think we should add? What have I missed? I think that's it. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing new items in here. Has any? Ooh, yes, Alan. Okay, I had a couple of questions. Um, on the Countly analytics, you said you've got like per page uh, analytics. Do, is there um, is there any plans to get like more more granular with that so that we can kind of see where people are? stumbling or uh you know just so, so that we have an idea of what's a bit more of an idea of what people are actually doing on the uh yeah. on, on in the tutorials yeah so i'm still looking at how to execute it in countly but one of the things so one thing that i imagine can be done that it's it may just be me not knowing yet how to do it is presumably we can see like they went from the tutorials page to this one. I assume there'd be a way to track a user through like what order they go through. Um, I just haven't explored. It might already exist and I just don't know it. The other thing is that event tracking. So Diogo and I have already dropped some comments in our functions in Proto School where it's like this would be an opportunity to track that they clicked to reset the code, which would be a sign that the lesson is harder, as would clicking on view solution. We might be able to do something as complex as they clicked on submit three times before they successfully submitted a right answer. So there's stuff like that that I think will help us with what's the most difficult, what's easy. Um, did you have anything else in mind that wouldn't be captured by either no, of No, no, I think, I think that's good. And um, it's not only um, the difficulty of the tutorial, but it can also help inform us it, you know, is, is the API any good? Is it is it just difficult to use? Um, that would be really useful as well. Yeah. Um, I had another question. Uh, the the links and things that you've submitted as PRs over the last week. Um, is there like an? So I only see the stuff that you sent to me. But is there like an equivalent thing you can do for the, on the Go IPFS side of things? Well. It's a good question because technically I don't have content about, like I don't have coding challenges about Go IPFS because they can't be supported. So we might be able to find places that are relevant to link to like underlying concepts, decentralized data structures, like the just reading ones. Um, I don't know, to be honest, I haven't poked around those repos. Do you think it's worth adding stuff in there as well? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, like I, I know, understand that it's all kind of JS based, but MFS in general is very similar in in terms yeah. of ideas and how it works, and um, and even how you use it. Like all of the the commands are, are very similar to what you you find in, in kind of Go. So yeah. um, I think it would be valuable, and yeah, if you can get even more general. Um, you know, tutorials for the D web in the general in, in right. there as well, just more traffic for Proto School and more, more kind of impact for more ways of kind of educating people about it um, the better. Yeah. And I, I imagine Go IPFS has more, um, more traffic than, than JS IPFS does in any way. So, um, 
I think it would yeah, be good. That may be true. Um, anyway, this link is here. So all the kind of links into Proto School are tracked in here. And when I'm in one of those things in another repo, I add a reference to this one. So then you see the little like open or merged or whatever button. So if anybody wants to look at where I have uh, done stuff, you can go into this issue and see where those links are. Um, yeah, more questions on Proto School stuff or stuff you wanted to add, Diego? Okay. Does anyone else have uh, updates they wanted to share today that we don't see yet in the document? You know, um, Jessica and Portia are out, so I'm sure we'll have an update on content audit from Portia when she's back. Anything? Did Chris end up on by phone or somewhere? No, he's in the document, but not on the call. No problem. No. Um, Jessica's working on hiring. Obviously, all of us should be helping to share uh, job listings and such, but Persona hotfixes. Anyone else made any exciting hotfixes this week? Um, or not I exciting? Was, I noticed that there was a, um, a person who commented across a number of docs issues recently, which is awesome. Someone who wants to kind of help pick some things up. I think to the extent that we can um, like help uh, figure out which things like, you know, doing a first visual pass for the quiz seems pretty um, yeah, accessible yeah. For, for someone who wants to, to pick it up and make some quick wireframes. Um, I don't know what this person's background is, but like, um, again, if, if someone can take an, an action item to um, like make sure that there's a, a couple of, of getting started issues that they could start contributing to. I think that'd be super awesome. I think Eric, you were, you were plussed into that particular issue being like, Hey, if you want to do that, um, that mock-up, talk to Eric. Yeah, I saw that. That was cool. She chimed in on, on an issue that's blocked. Um, one of, one of them, sorry about my, my dog has not barked once until this very second. Um, but uh, so one of the things I want to do to unblock is you know, work on the question, start, start to work on the question tree, the question that would go on the homepage for IPFS.io. And this week, frankly, beginning in earnest with, this, with these flipping Q3 OKRs for me, which I've been personally blocked by, uh, largely by the PL Research website, which I'm gonna uh, post an update to today and, uh, and maybe interweave that work going forward as opposed to letting it block me. I think I'm at a point where I can do that. Okay, anything you've been working on, Eric, specifically that's relevant to the docs stuff? Yeah, aside from that, nothing and being blocked by also or, or interrupted intermittently by the family medical ongoing. Yeah, I know that. Dad, which was like a day, almost a day and a half last week, and will be a big chunk of tomorrow. Yeah. And aside from that, hopefully, we'll be we'll be in a much better place. Yeah, we'll definitely deal with that stuff first. <laughs> um, are you okay with taking this action item of trying to figure out whether that? Contributor is appropriate for this. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't tagged on the issue, but if you can circle yeah. back and see whether that's a good fit, that'd be awesome. Anything else people want to talk about? We have eight minutes left, but we can certainly drop early if we have a good contingent that can't make it today. So, Right. Shall we call it? All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a lovely week. Thank you. Or evening or whatever you plan to have next. Have a good one. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>